Let's go ahead and press the on button now. The on button is located on the top of the unit here. Uh, and then you also have this kickstand back here that we're using to prop the unit up. Uh, now if I swipe the unit to unlock it, uh, I can either go left for a camera, which is this way, or I can go right, which unlocks the, the tablet. And uh, looks like it starts off right on the main menu. Uh, you have different options such as diagnostics, maxi fix, shop manager, a couple of other settings including updating uh, directly from the tool. You also have remote desktop in case you need support. Uh, someone can log in from Autel or from ourselves, log into the unit and uh, help you with some support. Uh, there's also training available, uh, some quick links, and some pre-installed apps such as Scope, LapScope, and Digital Inspection. Uh, now, as far as we know, the LapScope isn't available yet. Uh, it's still in the process of being developed, and uh, there's no ETA at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start off now. On the main screen here, we go to the front of the main screen. We have Diagnostics. We'll go ahead and click on that. And this gives us all our different car manufacturers here. Uh, at the top, you have different uh, ways to search. You can search by region, USA, European, Asian. There's also other pages at the bottom here. You'll see uh, two little uh, page icons. You can go left and right. If you click all, click all you can swipe through all the different pages of manufacturers. So it looks like it does come preloaded with some software. I do have this connected to a vehicle. I have the VCI connected to a 2011 Dodge Charger. Uh, let's go ahead and get it connect, uh, connected and let's get the software running and see if we can actually access the software without registration. Uh, looks like there is a, a version of the software and this is Chrysler version 1.01 uh, and then it gives me two options. Uh, particular years are all except these years. Go ahead and click on the first one. It's a set the ignition switch to on which it is. We'll hit OK. And it detected the car, model year 2011, Dodge Charger. Hit yes if that's correct. And uh, then it asked me what I want to do, diagnosis or service. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on diagnosis. And uh, you can either do an auto scan, which will scan all the possible modules on the vehicle, or you can do a control unit, which lets you go to a specific or particular module on the vehicle. In this case, I'll just hit auto scan. Uh, execute all DTC tests. The check-in will take some time. Do you want to execute this test? We'll hit yes. And it looks like it's doing the auto scan. Now, I do notice here at the top, I have uh, a tabs. That's, one says list, the other says tree. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on, it's on currently on list. We'll click on tree and see what that brings up. Uh, but it, right now, it's going through all the di possible different modules that are on this vehicle. And it uh, looks like it's pretty easy to see when there's a fault code. Uh, it comes up in red, and it, instead of saying pass no fault, it tells you how many codes are on that particular module. In this case, the uh, tire pressure monitor has one uh, DTC stored in it. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Um, it gives you all the possible modules that this tool can access. It uh, looks like under body controller there's another uh, code. So let's go ahead and just uh, tap on one of the one of the modules that has co codes in it or stored DTCs. It uh, gives you a couple different options, erase codes, uh, read codes, live data actuators, ECU configure information and ECU information. In this case I'm going to go ahead and just read the codes. And it gives me the code there. Um, Pretty easy, pretty fast. Uh, you could, looks like you could also access some type of freeze frame data up here on the top. Back out of it. Uh, go back out of that as well. Yeah, so here's all the different modules that you can access. So let's go ahead and click on tree. And looks like nothing's happening on tree. You, we may possibly need the latest version. That's the reason why it isn't coming up. Uh, we will verify this as soon as we register the unit out of it and you can back out to different screens just by pressing escape if you want to completely back out of the tool uh, you can hit the M button here that takes you back to your main uh, app screen yeah that's it for now we'll go ahead and on the next video do a registration actually update the tool 
and connect it back on this 2011 charger to see if we can get that tree uh, screen to come up. Thanks for watching.